Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Man, it's the American dream. All these people trying to get a slice of the American pie. Interesting. This episode is called Make Them Birds Fly. He has to get that weight, those birds, those keys, the brick of cocaine from Ivy. He needs to sell it quick, fast, in a hurry. He's book smart, streetwise, and he's on his way to becoming something magnificent. With Snowfall, we see three different stories, three different characters, all combining into this one, this great American story that the world loves to hate loves to forget but it's such a huge impact on, on pop culture we get to meet also teddy and franklin we got teddy who's living this real weird lifestyle he's an agent he's lonely he's living a real lonely life we got also who is wrestler who's not bringing in a lot of money he's caught up in a game that he can't seem to get out of or win he also had got a body on him he killed someone living in his truck franklin's best friend and i like him he's got a background he's been a juvenile street guy He's the one who will knock you back into reality. They'll rise together and he'll be a great wingman, great, you know, number two to the game. But we all know what number twos want. Number twos, number twos all want to be number one. Jerome, Uncle Jerome said, ooh, ooh, you're intimate. Everybody has an Uncle Jerome because he's hilarious and he brings something different. He brings something different to the cast. He is the stereotype of the 80s black man. I'm just saying. He's a drug dealer. He's an uncle. He's still looking out. Even though he's in them streets, he's still looking out for his young nephew. And he's got a thing for his boo, Auntie Louie. Auntie Louie, I feel like, is going to be that number two character that everybody's drawn to and really loves and receives well. Auntie Louie, because she showed up and she showed out, she held her nephew down when he needed her most. So was a connect to help him get to Claudia. But she's got a background and she's the spouse of somebody who's in them streets. I don't know if she's going to live, if she'll get strung out. Because we know she already seemed to be high off of something. Probably some seaweed. It's all right, FX. I see y'all bringing great stories and shining light on the truth. Let's get to this episode. Beautiful, beautiful so far, man. We have great California outside shots. For those of us who's never been there, it's like they're taking us on a journey with them, right? The mansion that Teddy's at, koi fish, gorgeous. The, the, even the wood on the walls, the pools, they're showing all these things that everyone would associate with this glamorous lifestyle, and I'm living for it. This series is about three characters, mainly three stories. We learn that these three male characters finally are feeling that sense of power. What song starts it off? Birds flying high, you know how I feel, right? The greatest song, Nina Simone, slayed it. It's a new day, right? It's whatever. Take it. Seize the day. Seize the moment. Money. Franklin's got money. Cold heart cash. Lying on his bed. Still, you know, he's not on his own yet. He's putting a little bit to the side. We know he made 16K. He's only got to give Avi 12. So him and Aunt, so Auntie and Franklin have made off with a couple thousand for themselves. Maybe he was generous and gave her two and he kept two. Either way it go. $2,000 in 83. You can do what you want to do, man. We see Franklin waiting at the bus stop, and this guy, this cool guy, I don't even know if he was a dope boy or whatever, but he pulls up on his Honda bike. He pulls up on his Honda motorcycle, parks it, and Franklin's sitting there, and like I said, they're playing birds flying high, and he's like, it's a new day. I, I got to see my moment. I got, I have money. I'm sitting here at the bus stop like I'm broke. Let me run in here and see if this guy will give it to me. He gets the bike, drives off. Second story. Also, if you're not if you're not familiar, also means bear in Spanish. Bear, this big, strong king of the king of the outdoors. You king of all things brutal besides a lion as a bear. You know, the guy tells also you got my money. And he doesn't throw the bag of money. He throws back the picture like yo, you tried to play me. He said I'll give you the money when I feel safe. Like I said, these guys, Teddy, Franklin, and also they are all having their moment of power. While we bringing them up, let's talk about Teddy right quick. He's making plans. Uh, he's showing authority, being very boisterous. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And he's rocking a members-only jacket. They step into Ivy. We learned that Ivy is the plug for everyone. Anyone who wants to get some money in this season, they got to go through him. And he ain't to be messed with. He says strip. So, so far, Franklin's in the bed with Ivy. Teddy's in the bed with Ivy. You know what I really like about this show? 
I'm feeling the cars. The cars are off the chain. The Honda Bike, the Rolls Royce Luxury, the Chevy SS. You know they're coming out with a Chevy SS or maybe it dropped already. But anyway, there's a 2017 version or 2018 coming. The, even the old Ford pickup truck. I love the cars. I love the hair. I, I love the clothing. They're really doing well in that, uh, I guess, that genre or whatnot of that 80s feel. Franklin. Franklin's talking to Avi. Now we know they're back to back. Teddy left and Franklin's coming in. They haven't seen each other, so there's no cross that way. So yeah, in this early in the season, it's just episode two. We know, I said, I said on my review for the pilot, I felt that he had the gift of the gab. Franklin had the gift of the gab. Avi calls it the silver tongue. He ends up getting more drugs. He skirts off with his motorcycle. And I'm like, dude, you know you ain't got no driver's license. You dang sure don't got a motorcycle endorsement to be riding it. Come on, son. You're going to get caught up. That's what's going to happen. A traffic stop's going to happen. If they're going to get you and you're going to get caught with a book bag full of that thing. I'm not going to lie. I thought Uncle Jerome had knocked Aunt Louie out. Then I had to remember, oh yeah, she got backhand by uh, Claudia at the club. And I was like, dang, Uncle Jerome. We see him maxing his cereal, enjoying himself. And we see, obviously, she watching her stories because that's what she does. Her face is all bruised and black. And I'm just like, dang, I felt so bad for Auntie Louie at that point. Uncle Jerome does what anybody's uncle would have done in that case. He was satisfied at the level he was at. He didn't need the extra heat that Franklin is bringing. Now his girl is bruised. People gonna be looking. You know, you coming around here with fancy motorcycles, people gonna be looking. He doesn't want this. Then Franklin's mother rose up to the house and, oh, mind you, my bad, Uncle Jerome said, who is you? And I about fell out my couch when he said that to Auntie Louie. I said, ooh. But she doesn't back down. That's what we really enjoy about her character. She doesn't back down. And I feel like, girl, Franklin's mom is off the chain. Obviously, it runs in the blood. He gets his hustle mentality from someone, his mom. Who knows what happened to his dad, truly. But the mom is blaming the brother by saying, you just love trouble too much. He took an L for his nephew, for real. Miss Perkins. Miss Perkins! I was so happy to see her. That's Charmaine from Cosby Show. That's Pam's best friend. The homegirls. Y'all love her. She's played in everything. Been, I think she's even did like voice work over like, uh, over like some cartoons or something like that. Anyway, she's off the chain. Great, great, great actress. <laughs> did she threw that thing at that man's choice out of here. Uh, dang her lives was ice cold they're showing they're really stressing that you know mom is cold hearted it's not the fact that the mom is cold hearted it's her job she's got to be the enforcer if not i mean how else do you manage a place and get people evicted you can't do it nicely you know there's no nice part of her game and see where he gets it from and the fact that she knew to check in that vent shows that she she's she got her own hustler mentality and i love it franklin's book bag i had a book bag like that i think my freshman year of high school it was like a jam sport it had the suede bottom brown and the the green it was like $14.99 at like Marshall's and I'm just saying it was the best book bag so I feel you man so I feel you with your love for your bag and stuff I didn't have weight in my stuff no sir his mom is getting a little suspicious at this point and Franklin's mother is like what's in that bag and he's like nothing but a hoodie you know a Henry Ford book she's trying to be you know push it away like I'm I'm doing right mine it's nothing for you to worry about I love his bedroom um it's different than most of the boys, the African-American boys on television's rooms, you know. He has Bruce Lee posters or whatnot. He has his music equipment, you know. he It seems to be a decent household. It's a good for TV. It's awesome. I'm happy to see it. Also, and Teddy meet. I know I said in the beginning, how are they going to intertwine all three of these worlds? And now we have it. So when Oso and Teddy met up, we noticed Teddy transforms into who he feels is this, this kingpin guy. He puts his glasses on. He's got his jacket on. He tries to be bigger than life. But when he's alone, he's thinking about his family. Obviously, he's got the, a, a small child and this girl. So it's a lot on his mind, right? The female called Teddy the replacement white boy. Oso leaves with 25 keys. That's a lot of work. He's kind of feeling, you know, regretful almost. Like, did he, is he, how do I get out of it? Why are we doing this? It, we noticed his face change once all of those women, what was it, like six women came into that room and they stripped down to uh, weigh out that work. And his face was just like, what are we doing? He kind of bossed down, but the female bossed up. 
Interesting. Let's get the, the show is showing a lot, man. They're they're telling it. So old soul and old girl. What's I think her name's Lucia or Luco. Somebody drop a comment below. What's her name? I don't know. Anyway, basically she's the brainchild of this whole monster. As far as from the from their angle, she's saying a hundred dollars a gram. You gotta pay the church for bad. You gotta pay church bad scales, fuels, bribes, concierge. No, she said then it's gonna be ten k a load. Free samples after all of that. There's going to be 25 kilos, which is going to leave them with a little over $2.1 million, I believe. And I said, oh my goodness, y'all about to be broke off. And also still looking like, what did I get myself into? Ivy and Teddy. Teddy actually went back to Ivy's house, which was a shock. I thought he was going to get shot in the face and that was going to be it. No. I thought he was going to have the bulletproof vest situation test. No. Um, he's saying, I'm simple. Teddy says, I'm simple. You're a lunatic. He's being forceful, he's being rude, he's being inconsiderate, um, very bold, and he's face-to-face -face with this giant in the industry and trying him. He is really trying his gangster right now. He's setting an ultimatum, which I'm shocked because shouldn't Abby be doing that? You doing it? It's like he has nothing to lose at this point. Uh, Franklin. Franklin's crushing on his neighbor, which we learned the first episode. She's um, noticing, you know, okay, you're getting a little bit of money or whatnot. You must be a dope boy selling that weed, that cigar weed. And he's like, no. She grabs his book bag, which he's very protective over. She unzips it and like two to three keys fall out. And he's looking around because the street's always watching. Somebody's always awake. Somebody saw that, believe it. He goes to Auntie's window because, you know, at nighttime is when they link up. Auntie's either high, sleep, whatever. But he takes it upon himself. Like, I got to do this myself. Gets on the bike, and I think he's going to go handle his own business. I don't know if that was safe. I don't know if that was responsible. Selling drugs, is that responsible? Um, Oso's crew, they're basically going to launch their own investigation to find out who did it. And it's going to be nasty because they're going to kill everybody until they get down to the one person he's not suspecting, which is that chick, which is the guy. It's going to be nasty inside their family. Like, eek. Also, man, you in too deep. Get out if you can. I don't even know if he can at this point. Claudia. We see Franklin go to Claudia on his own just because she put him on to a little bit of profit. He thinks that he can make this connect on his own. If you think Auntie used to work for her and she beat the dog out of Auntie, you think she can be trusted? You think that you can just step in like she didn't have any other little connects and no other small-time candy man coming in? For real? That's crazy because... She dismissed the other crew and you knew, you knew at that point, as soon as they looked at him, okay, we're going to get him outside. And that's exactly what they did. One took the motorcycle, one left in, I think it was a Cutlass or a Regal, beat the dog out of him, took his book bag. I said, dang, Franklin, what are you going to do? Because you owe Avi at the end of the day, buddy. What song is playing in the background as he's getting his tail whooped? A lovely day. Isn't that Bill Withers who, song, who sings that? I'm pretty sure that's Bill Withers' song. If I'm wrong, oh well. It might be Ain't No Sunshine he sings. I don't know. Anyway, a lovely day. You learned a lot today, boy. This episode was great. It was awesome. I'm just trying to figure out what is he going to do to get this money back because Ivy is going to not play friends with him. Obviously, Claudia set you up. I'm just saying. She knows it's a good product. She knows you're by yourself and Auntie's doing what she's doing, so she came for you. Um, what's his mom's background? Very interesting. I like the show. It's dope. Uh, drop a comment below. Like, comment, subscribe. Share it to somebody else. Come on, let's get these views up, man. Come on. All right? Peace out, y'all.